Hi, I'm Raquel Lopez with the Denver Police Media Relations Unit. I'm here today speaking to Commander Mike Kello in District 2 on some great police work, I understand, sir, that is going on in your district. So if you can tell us a little bit about what's going on in your district. You bet. Uh, last night, uh, the Vice and Narcotics uh, Bureau, along with the District 2 SCAT team and the uh, Gang Bureau, all got together, worked, worked an operational plan along the East, East Colfax Corridor, uh, specifically Yosemite Street to Monaco. We've had a lot of incidents down there, and it is actually one of the areas which we've labeled a hot spot since my arrival here last year. The uh, response by the officers uh, working that area has been overwhelming, but a lot of success last night. They had eight felony arrests, uh, namely PCS arrests, crack cocaine, methamphetamine off the streets, as well as six other misdemeanor arrests, uh, numerous gang contacts and street checks. So we're very proud of them. Great. It sounds like it is great police work. It also, you also have some other information you'd like to provide to us on how you're finding your hot spots. Yeah, actually, if we can, we'll just step over here briefly. Uh, that particular area is Precinct 233, and it is one of our hot spot areas. Uh, the department right now, we're looking at a new program, DDAX, where we're looking at a traffic pattern of accidents, hit and runs, uh, areas of high concern for traffic enforcement coupled with our hot spots and putting those two together simply in an overlay gives us a good opportunity to allocate our resources to those particular areas this being one of them here and uh, historically that's been a, a, a very active spot for drugs uh, sales illegal drug sales on the street gang activity and again since uh, we really started this program a few months ago, hitting that particular area with a plan. Uh, again, with all the teams working together, Commander Montoya and I coupled up with District 3, District 2 SCAT, the Gang Bureau, and, and the Vice Unit. Uh, we've seen a, about a 31% reduction already in, uh, in uh, associated violent crime down there, which we're very happy to report. And uh, we're actually seeing an increase of about 32% of uh, self-initiated activity by officers in that particular area as well. Great, and can you just um, let us know what DDAC stands for? Yes, it's Data-Driven Approaches to Crime and Traffic Safety. Great, well it sounds like your district is doing a great job, very proud of your officers, and uh, really appreciate the work. Yeah, absolutely, and we appreciate you guys coming out here and uh, giving us an opportunity to, to uh, kind of brag about the officers, because overall uh, we all know they do a tremendous job day in and day out, and uh, I like to let them know we appreciate them. Well, great. Appreciate your time, Commander. Thank you so much. And I'm Raquel Lopez with, again, Denver Police Media Relations Unit.